Hey guys, it's Paul, and I am sitting here chilling out in my local Costco and in the furniture section. This chair that I'm in is actually really comfy. Um, so anyway, I'm here to do our week's worth of shopping. Uh, I have my list, so let's see how many things that I get that are not on the list. Now, I also have to stop at Sam's Club and maybe even Walmart also um, after I'm here, because there's some things that Sam's have that Costco doesn't, but there's things that they have here at Costco that um, I like better than other places. So uh, let's go shopping. All right, over here is one of the things that I came to Costco specifically for. Um, I love their pepper selection and their tomatoes. Actually, I think I have a bunch of peppers at home right now. So ooh, that's, those are pretty. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna find something to do with these. These are a good deal, so I wanna pick these up. But really what I came for was tomatoes. Here, let's see. Oh, we have sun drops. These are like little cherry tomatoes. These are really good. I'm gonna get these because I'm gonna make some salads with these. Okay, it's cold in here. Uh, this is like where they keep a lot of fresh produce. So I'm not gonna spend much time in here, but I wanted to get, yeah, this is what I want right here. So organic green beans. I'm gonna get some of those. I wanna get some carrots. Carrots I may be getting at Sam's. Let's see. Yeah, so this is a 10 pound bag of carrots. I, and these are smaller carrots. Sam's has a five pound bag and it's like bigger carrots. So I wanna get them there. There Let's see. Yeah, I can't see the bottoms. Um, feel pretty good. I think I'm gonna get some asparagus also. Find a bag I like. All right, I'm doing good so far. I just have vegetables and potatoes in my cart. I don't know if you, how you feel about potatoes, if they're a vegetable or not. I think they are, even though they're a ground vegetable. Shannon has an interesting take on potatoes. You'll have to get her to tell that to you. But now, it's bakery time. Apple crumb muffins. You get a dozen jumbo muffins for eight bucks. It's at, their price has actually gone up considerably, but their muffins are so good. Blueberry, blueberries are superfood. That means it's a super muffin. Uh, let's see, their cookies look really good. What I'm looking for is the key lime cupcakes. Let's see, ooh, key lime pie. I'm the only person in the house that likes that. A tuxedo mousse. I wonder how you get a mousse to wear a tuxedo. Oh, look at this cheesecake. All right, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna stay away from this stuff today, but it's tempting. Here's one of the big reasons why I wanted to come down to Costco today is for their meat. So I like their chicken breasts a lot better than I like Sam's. Um, I think the chicken tastes about the same. Even though Costco's is considerably more money, I like the fact that they package the breasts, like two breasts or one breast per pouch. And they have like six different pouches in this big container. Whereas uh, Sam's just has the big tray of chicken breasts. And I always feel like, um, I feel like it's gonna go bad quicker. Uh, once I open it. So anyway, um, I'm going to pick one of these up for a bunch of chicken stuff. Boy, the view through through the camera lens looks weird with this light, but this is uh, this is the fun part of coming to Costco, just kind of discovering the different things. So this is some of their pre-made food. This is a tortellini pasta salad with mozzarella pearls. Ooh, that looks yummy. I'm not going to get that because I want to make stuff uh, myself this week, but that looks really good. Four meat stromboli, that's new. Take and bake stuff. Cool. Here was one of the other big items on my list. Um, I love their little master carve half hams. These are perfect for us because we can do like a ham dinner or two. Um, plus I always have a little bit of extra to use like in scrambles and omelets and things like that. And there's very, very little waste. Um, really all I do is just cut the fat off and that's the only thing that gets really thrown away. So these are perfect. I love picking these up every now and then. And I think, yep, right here. This is the first non-list thing that's going in the basket. Uh, uncured Canadian bacon. Shannon, one of her favorite breakfasts or one of her favorite things is Eggs Benedict. I've never got into it myself, but I think I'm gonna try and make that. So I'm gonna pick that up. It's funny, it's like I'm on this path with the same people. I keep crisscrossing them and I try to be conscious about not filming other people while I'm out. Um, but 
it's kind of really crowded in here today. I'm, I'm really surprised because it's uh, it's Monday, right around lunchtime, and usually the weekdays are a pretty good time to film in stores without it being too crowded. Let's see. Okay, I, I think like we've got a clear clear shot here for the moment. So let's see. I need two different kinds of cheeses. Um, I want to pick up some mozzarella cheese because I actually have a recipe I'm going to do for dinner tonight, and I need that for. And, uh-oh, I don't see it. I need, it's like a, a Cheddar Jack blend. Oh, they don't have it anymore. It used to come in like two different uh, packages. Oh, you know, there it is right there. They changed the packaging. Okay, hang on, I gotta put my mozzarella down. Okay, so yeah, this is, this is the same stuff I was buying, but. They changed the package of it. So, cool. I want to get this. The spice row. I have, we have a spice cabinet that we've got to clean out. It's crazy. How many spices are in there? Um, let's see. I need cumin. We are all out of cumin, and I've been making a lot of stuff with that in it. I am not seeing any so far. Pink Himalayan salt. I told you the pink Himalayan salt story. Wow, they actually sell it in a bigger jar now. And it's already pre-ground. That's pretty cool. Come on, cumin. I am not seeing it. I'm gonna have to stop at Walmart for cumin, I think. These, right here, this is another new package. I'm trying to be really good. I'm trying not to eat a bunch of sweet stuff um, or cakes or things like that right now, but these are awesome. If, if you're in the mood for brownies, those are the ones right there to get. Let's see, they do not have cumin in a big package, or a little package for that matter. I don't know why. Mustard is something that's on my list, but the only mustard I'm seeing here right now is this, which comes with mustard relish and then two ketchups. And we have a couple ketchups at home, so um, I guess I'm not getting mustard here. Uh, I'll try Sam's for that. Oh, but hey, here's something I do need. Here's olives. Shannon and the kids really like these, so I'm gonna get these. All right, so this is something that is challenging. Um, salad dressing is on my list of things to get. Let's see here, I'm trying to read the the labels here, see what kind of nutrition we've got. Um, not much. Um, Olive Garden dressing is really good. <laughs> I feel like eating an Olive Garden, their salad's really good. This kind of caught my eye. Um, Organic white balsamic citrus basil. Like all the dressings are, well, let's see, this one, the first ingredient is water, which is good. Second ingredient is sugar cane. <laughs> and then sugar cane syrup, sorry. No idea what that is. And then soybean oil is the third. Um, I wish that these were like olive oil based. That would be, that would be a lot more enticing to me. But as it is, this is probably the best option that they have. And I've kind of looked at some other stuff and I don't know if there's a better option out there. So I'm going to pick this up and just see how this tastes and see what uh, see what I feel like when I eat this. All in this row is like uh, dried fruit. So like I'm standing in front of dried coconut chips. And we've got like dried blueberries and cherries and mangoes and stuff over there. I put some of them in my cart because I just want to show you something that really kind of irritates me. Um, Shannon and I are trying to eat a little bit healthier right now. So we're thinking, okay, we want to try and substitute what we would normally snack on, which would be like chips and popcorn and stuff like that for better options. And dried fruit is a convenient way of that. And Shannon really likes mangoes. So this is why it's important to look at ingredient lists. So down here, the ingredient lists, probably you can't see it, but uh, ingredients are selected mangoes, cane sugar, and then citric acid as a natural preser preserve. I've got craisins here, which include cranberries and sugar. I've got blueberries, which contain blueberries and sugar and then oil. And then I've got cherries, which contain cherries and sugar. So here's cashew clusters, which this is something that like we would have gotten before. And we kind of feel maybe a little bit guilty about it and feel like, oh, well, fruit would be a much better option. But if sugar is something you're watching, I want to show you something. So one serving size of this is approximately five pieces of these. And these are about as big as like a... I don't know, like five pieces would be a little bit bigger than like a snack size Snickers bar. So that's a serving size. So sugars are four grams. That means there's one teaspoon of sugars 
in one serving size of this. So if you eat a serving size of this, it's like eating a teaspoon of sugar. The craisins, if you eat a teaspoon of these, it's like gobbling down almost eight teaspoons of sugar. The serving size is a quarter cup. That's not many. The mangoes, let's see, mangoes. Everybody loves mangoes because they're like a superfood. Where's the sugar? 24 grams. So that's, uh, let's see, that's six, that's six teaspoons of sugar for a serving of mangoes. The blueberries, 28 grams, that's seven teaspoons of sugar. And cherries, 25. So again, that's uh, like six and a half. So that's crazy. These are all like, the best of these is six times the sugar as this. And that's for fruit. I mean, you know, you get the fruit, you're thinking you're being healthy. So always check, check the labels just to see exactly what you're eating. Um, if you don't care about sugar, then, then none of this really matters. But sugar is something that we're trying to cut down on, so it matters to us. All right, here we go. Before I get in the mess of people trying to check out, let's take a quick look at the cart. Um, I did pretty well. Actually looks pretty, pretty healthy. Um, and I only got one thing that wasn't on the list. That's the Canadian bacon, so pretty cool. All right, we are gonna check out and then we're gonna head over to Sam's Club. I'm now in Sam's Club. You can tell by the big pull racks. Um, so I'm here because Drew, my oldest son, wanted Flaming Hot Cheetos. He said he saw a big bag of these here. Um, so I'm gonna try and find Flaming Hot Cheetos for Drew. And I wanna pick up some fruit and I need to find some chips for Casey. Oh my goodness, let's see. A Ketter 150 gallon deck box. I wonder if I could fit in there. Let's try. Let's see. Look at that, filming from inside a deck box. Here's the chicken here at Sam's Club just to kind of show you the difference. So the price is a lot less per pound, but it comes in this big tray. Um, I just like the individual, like, wrapped things better at Costco. Alright, so I'm in the chip row. I'm looking for the Flaming Hot Cheetos. And Shannon also wants uh, tortilla chips. She told me round ones, specifically. Um, I don't see any round. Here's Salsa Verde chips, which, those are good. But... That's not what we wanted. She wanted like plain, oh, here's the Flaming Hot Cheetos. Whoa, that is a big bag. Drew told me it was a big bag. Wow, that's a huge bag. 27 ounces of Flaming Hot Cheetos. That's, that's only like a dollar more than they are at Walmart for about a third of the price. So let's see. I'm not seeing round tortilla chips. I might have to get these. These are actually really good. Right, this cart has a lot less in it. So I'm gonna get a watermelon. I'm gonna get strawberries, some red grapes. There's my carrot. That comes in a five pound bag and that's much more manageable for us. Uh, what feels like a five pound bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> I have blueberries and I have pineapple. So I'm gonna get out of Sam's Club and I'm gonna run over to Walmart and look for round tortilla chips. All right, I'm gonna give you one more trick before I get out of Sam's Club here. Um, if you like to buy flowers or you need like pharmacy stuff, Warehouse clubs are a great place to do that. I mean, these flowers are really pretty and they're not very much money when you consider how much flowers are at other places. So, good deal. And the pharmacy stuff's like really cheap here compared to other places. All right, into Walmart we go. The quest for the round tortilla chip continues. I'm going to pick up some tomatoes uh, for salads, uh, or I'm sorry, for um, for something else for a recipe, and I need a cucumber for salads. So let's go get those and then we'll look for the tortilla chips. All right, these little red tomatoes are good. I bought some of these just the other day and I was done quite a bit. Pretty good. Got the helpful Walmart employee asking me if I need help. Cucumbers are in season right now. So let's find a good one. There we go. All right, I think that one's good. We just need one. All right, I think I'm gonna get Casey some Utz barbecue potato chips. His favorite flavor is the crab, but I think we'll go with barbecue. And check me out. I found 
the bite-sized Tostito round chips. That's exactly what Shannon wanted, so that's what she shall get. I'm gonna wrap the vlog up out here. Um, I'm in the parking lot of Walmart. We have found our round tortilla chips for Shannon, so good job. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We went to three different stores. We went to Costco, Sam's Club, and Walmart. Um, we have so many different grocery stores around here, and I, like these are the three that I shop at mostly, um, the ones that we went to today. But we have Harris Teeter, we have Publix, we have, um, Oh man, I forget. We have like food line. We have all kinds of places. So if there's somewhere else you'd like to see me shop, uh, leave that in the comments below. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I have to run home. I have to put all this stuff away. And uh, actually, we'll probably do a food haul first. But anyway, um, and then I've got to cook dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave that comment. Leave the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.